my squad of Universal Legends. And just like the airplane video, I will now be doing a build guide on helicopters. Now, helicopters, they don't require too much. Well, depending on how you build them, they shouldn't require too much. For instance, this one. This one will not require much at all because this is just going to be a basic small one. It's not going to need what I'm about to add to it, however. So, if you want to add that, you can go ahead, but it's it's not needed. So, first things first, we're just going to get these here. And slopes. Well, the, the diagonal slopes, actually. These are going down here. And just the regular slopes now going up here and here that's simply because I wasn't able, I wouldn't be able to place them so that's the only reason it's like that right now and then we got these delete that and there you go you have a bit of a tail where you can which I am going to do after I show you first how to do the turbine well the propellers the hillis blade spinners that's what they're called. I English the well, not struggle at all. Now, that might be, yeah, that's going to be a bit thin, so. We're just going to delete those real quickly. And increase the width up here a bit. And we're just going to do that up here as well. So there we go, make that wider, and we're gonna make it one more beam long. So it's just, we don't have to worry about it after that. Add some slopes, because I wanna make this a little bit aesthetically pleasing. Kind of like the secret goal that you may not have noticed in the plain video. I try and be a bit, I try to make things look a bit nice. So we're just going to build up the walls real quickly. Build that real quickly. I know that uh, the awkward seconds of silence, but sometimes it just happens when you get in the mood and you're not used to recording for too long. Like you're still just kind of starting off recording. And corner. This slope. Now this isn't gonna look too well, but it's also not gonna look too bad, so Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say that's bad. You can say it's bad all you want. I'm just not gonna openly say it. But then again, if someone asks is not like I'm eh, I'd probably deny it anyways. Cause that's that's not too bad, honestly. So then, just simply so I don't close it up on accident, we're gonna go with the beam, the three beam, the beam, close that front, and then, here you go, we have an interior. Now, I forgot to mention this on the plane video, but add weapons as you see fit. As long as you can get them working and stuff like that, then go ahead and add them. We're not gonna do that now. Now, as you've probably seen from the fuel engine, from the fuel engine, tutorial which I'm going to put those before these two build guides we're just gonna build like a simple simple engine matter of fact even more simple than it was so let's actually go with an efficient one also for the plane video I did not save that vehicle so we've got no way to re really reference the video how am I gonna do this? Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so carburetor on all of those superchargers. There we go. And well, since we have some space right here, 
There we go, 500 engine power. I believe that is fine. So, now we've got a basic engine. And, honestly, it's just going to be really like building a hull. So, as long as you can do that, you'll be fine for that part. As long as you can do that in the AI, anyways. Now, the only real thing different from the helicopter that will that you will need to know after coming from the plane one is that you will need more than likely you will end up using the dedicated hilo blade spinner you can use spin blocks and helicopter blade but honestly i don't recommend those because they're less stable than this this one gives you a bit more control and you know you don't have to worry about going through separate spinners it's actually on the ship now back to that now each time you place one you're gonna want it to simply put it you're gonna want to look the way you're building press G so it's aligned with it and you want the left side touching the either the hill blade spinner itself or the extender so like normal you want like the like the trumpet part except this time it's a bit closed going towards the bullet tip however you want that left one to be going towards it because when you do the control box which is something you will need to get the wheel spinning i'm um, not those the blade spinning i believe you need those anyways to get it spinning you will need like how about this activate when altitude is less than 120 spin blocks where i think i probably would pass it let me just there we go. spin blocks set rotation speed to 30 and now as you can see it's spinning when we let go it's not quite powerful enough to lift us up. So, a way to fix that, first the always up for actually means it will try and go up no matter what. And the motor drive, motor drive is how much, is it using the engine power to try and speed up the spinning. Now you may notice that's not balanced. And that is because the center of mass is behind the blade. So to fix that, what we are going to do is we're going to get, to get some lead blocks. We're going to move it forward. And we're going to try and get it aligned with that, the spinner. So it, it, it should be perfectly aligned. Now if I do that, will it move? Okay, I don't think it did. And it moved up slightly. So, however, as you probably see, it is now not strong enough to lift it. So, once again, just increase the motor drive and that will increase the amount of power it can draw. So if we set that to 10, it'll be on max motor drive and the helicopter should be able to fly. Now, when we hit greater than 120, which is what we'll be doing shortly, we want the spin block to set the rotation to zero. So that way it allows us to fall back down. Or you can set it to negative. And what that'll do is, it'll, yes, it'll make it kind of roll like this. But that's only because we have such high extremes. If we put some stuff out here to kind of balance it. Which honestly I don't recommend doing it like that. I recommend trying to get it with your center of mass. And get it like that. And that, yeah there it is. You're going to want to do that. And then... Like, if you're going for aesthetics and stuff like that, you can just kind of go like this. You don't, once again, you don't need that. That's just so it's, you can put some stuff to keep it balanced out here. And or for weapon systems, if that's what you choose. Now, a good way to keep it balanced is jet stabilizers. So, if we just go here, change it to 3 meter beams instead, and have one set. We put some on both sides. That will try and keep the it from rolling too much. Now... The real problem is just because of how high we have the down factor set to. So if we set that to like negative 10, it should start to stable out a bit. Now it also could be because of how high we have the up fresh, like the up. So if we set both of those to 10, as you can see, we got to a much more stable way of flying so now you can use thrusters however 
well, you can also use dedicated spinners, but I will, I don't think we want to end up doing that in this video, because that's some, that's more of, like, um, automated control block thing, so, if you want to do that, that's honestly up to you, and you, and if you need me to teach you how to do that, then I'll go ahead and make a video once you guys let me know you want that. Now, I think I did that right. Okay, so one more. Now, how we fix, as you can see, it keeps changing. So how we fix that is we put the effect range to, let's say, 7. And to this one, we put the effect range to 7 as well. So it only affects this top one. Now, this back one, it's going to have its complete own control block that has a range of five no actually let's go with a range of zero i'm not zero six sorry and we're just gonna have it spin blocks rotation speed one oh, max speed when vehicle hell no like every zero point let's do that every 0.5 seconds and let's just go ahead and set this to continuous reverse and as you can see now we have like a small little propeller blade pushing us forward and to get this working we're just gonna put some jet thrusters at the front and if we put an AI it'd be able to control this so you would want to use an aerial AI on actually no you wouldn't Surprisingly, you, you might end up wanting to use a land AI since they don't worry about like height and stuff too much. So with, the reason I say that is that way you can get like a flat turn at all times while using the, while, with using the helicopter. But anyways, thank you, all the, thank you all for watching. Like the video if you like it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And tell me what I can do better. Check out the Discord. And as always, thank you all for watching.